We are currently flying out to somewhere at the International Airport right now in Chicago. Right now I'm currently with Jack and another guy, Lucy, from Germany who I met in Costa Rica. And folks, I'm going to Cape Town. This should be a really good spot right here. Get the lighting. Uh, why did we choose Cape Town? The reason why we chose Cape Town is because we believe that it provides uh, much of diverse in activities, or how do I word that? It creates lots of opportunity to find our own specific path. There's mountains, uh, there's underwater, there's um, city. There's so much out there that we can find our specific path that we want to stick with in filmmaking career. Filmmaking career has so much opportunity, and we need to find that in one area that fits our interest. That's why Cape Town is the answer, and we're about to board our last flight to Cape Town. And that's another 10 hours. We finally made it to Cape Town, and we're very, very close to the ocean down there. We're like about one block away. <laughs> 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 He blew off the whole power source here. <laughs> when we first plug in the power adapter with this little adapter that converts European plug to American outlet, he blew off the whole power source in this apartment. I'm not sure if it's the whole apartment, but for sure our room is not out of power source. <laughs> There what it. did you see? I don't know, dude. I plugged in this, and then I plugged in a, uh, that thing, and it blew up. <laughs> I don't know, man. That was kind of scary, to be honest. <laughs> it was about 12.30 when we came to Cape Town Airport, and it wasn't too bad of a hassle. But then we Uber all the way over here to our Seapoint apartment, and it is very nice. Look at that. It's kind of cozy here, isn't it? It's not. It's really nice. And also we have an... It's a little bit overexposed. We have an outdoor patio. I'll show you in a few moments. So I'm actually liking this room. It's a pretty cozy, comfortable place. And we can enjoy editing. We can enjoy editing outside on the patio. Process. It's going to be a lot of working and we want to be in a comfortable condition where we can enjoy the editing process. We are going to go outside soon and explore a little bit of our local area. Dude, it's so stunning, man. I love it. I don't know. I've, I live in Colorado, but that mountain is so cool. It's a little, it's a little bit windy to talk right now. Just a walk around to the local area and it is absolutely gorgeous here. I'm going to put this away for now. And we'll do the next day once Moosey come. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is our very first night. We are currently at Camp Bay. It's really very close to where we live on Sea Point. We are just exploring around a little bit to find a very useful spot for drones and you know get that cinematic footage, especially with the wave crashing into the rocks. This is our first sons all together hey. from Germany, Colorado, USA, and Wisconsin, USA. And this is the start of our adventure that we planned and we've been so excited for. <laughs> this is louder than I thought. <laughs> also, at the same time as we're exploring, I'm trying to get used to jumping around on rocks. And I just want to be able to balance, you know, improve my balance. And I'm jump jumping around just like this. Just walk around, you know, just get used to it. And I'm gonna explain a little bit why Cape Town. The reason why we choose Cape Town because there is so much opportunity out there. There are so many activities. There are so many paths where we can choose from. We just want to find our passion for a specific area in filmmaking and see where we actually enjoy the most. There are underwater photography, filmmaking, all the way up to the mountain, on the, up in the air. There's just so much we can choose from, and that's why we show Cape Town. 
So Jack right here, what are you looking forward to the most in Cape Town? There's a couple of things, but I'd say free diving. Uh, I've never been like a lot of underwater stuff. Snorkeling's pretty much the max. So I heard the underwater stuff's crazy here. So we're gonna get our licenses for free diving and I don't know, I'm stoked for that to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, in Cape Town, it's just it's just amazing how many people can get all that. And it's one of the best spot for free diving, I believe. Yeah, Octopus Teacher, that that show or movie or, or whatever is uh yeah here uh in that like kelp forest and i think it's false bay i will focus more on uh free diving and filming underwater and flying more fpv have better skills in those parts for me i am looking forward to if if travel filmmaking is actually my eternal trust for the future you know i love i know i love to travel but i do not know if i want to continue that in the future and it's just really surprising me that I haven't really decided yet because, you know, I love storytelling. I absolutely love storytelling. But another thing I love about filmmaking is I love bringing strip, um, you know, just creating a story, bring the story to life. While we are exploring around Camp Bay, we were just trying to find the best spot to use for drone and capture drone footage, FPV, and get a lot of cinematic shot. And this is one a very nice area that you can see in the background. The wave are crashing into the rock and we are trying to find the one of the best spots that we can find. And there are so many to choose from. And we have a lot of exploring to do. This is so amazing. Just after the sunny, how the door just came down is. The only problem, and I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit, the drone cannot find the GPS, so I'm not relying on GPS at all. You were happy? Probably the best drone spot I've ever flown in Cape Town. I mean, Greece is up there, but Cape Town, it's different. <laughs> Might have to go help you out find a drone. <laughs> <laughs> I think you wanted to go home. On the second day, we've already ran into an issue. He's stealing, uh, he's stealing Jack's back. He's stealing some microphone to vlog, to vlog the whole shit that's happening today. He's stealing <laughs> Jack's microphone. Worst of all, Jack Jerome had an emergency landing and he think it landed in the water. It's a rough second night already in Cape Town, but we're gonna have to move forward strongly. I'm sorry, Jack. He's, he's all the time laughing, Jack. If you see well, that, Jack. Okay, first of all, first of all, he was making fun of everybody who crashed their drone in Costa Rica. Everybody except for Jack. And now in second day, he lost his drone. That's true. But you know what's more uh, important and beautiful at this moment? It's this guy. Just look at this guy. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> We're just gonna enjoy the rest of the night provide you guys as much content as possible. From here, as we're moving forward, we want to learn as much as possible and that's our biggest goal. My goal is to learn my style, just be able to provide best content as possible for you guys to enjoy. So I'm gonna try to find my favorite area and we want you guys to enjoy the journey with us. I think I'm gonna end the vlog tonight. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.